Hey, home waters, happy 420. Uh, today, in our warm up, we're going to start with a 400 meter warm up jog. And that is because we're going to be doing a lot of running in our, in our workout today. So, run this initial 400 maybe a tad bit slower. You can add some heat onto it as you go. But again, it's just a warm up, don't kill yourself. Then, three sets of 20 uh, seconds of lateral hops. This is just kind of to warm up your calves and that bounding motion for all the double unders coming up. Then 20 foot of bear crawl, that's to go shoulders and pecs before all the push-ups coming up. And then 10 air squats just to kind of get, get you moving, get you hot. So three sets of that before you get into the workout. The workout today is pretty simple because we've got some special stuff or some fun stuff, I think, coming up later in the week. So one time through, four time, this workout is as read, uh, 800 meter run. 80 double unders, 40 push-ups, 600 meter run, 60 double unders, 30 push-ups, 400 meter run, 40 double unders, 20 push-ups. Now, let's talk through it. For distance, at 800, I would think would be about like an average city block. Let's go three blocks up, around, and back. So like a three block loop, okay? A 600 would be like a two block loop. A 400 would be like a loop around your block, assuming you live on an average size city block. Now adjust that uh, accordingly. And if you live in an apartment, you're gonna get, have to get a little bit creative. Um, double unders, if you suck at double unders, you're not there yet. Single unders, just double them up. If you're not great at single unders, just do the requisite number uh, for the double unders, but just in single unders, so 80, 60, 40. Push-ups. Let's uh, try to keep these as crisp as possible. Don't start warming and flopping around towards your last few sets. You're going to get fatigued. It's a lot of push-ups. Uh, the movement of the push-up breaks down fast because it's smaller muscle groups that just fatigue really fast. So a couple of cues so you can see me, right? We're here. Screw those shoulders back, right? Bring those shoulder blades back in place like when we do our banded pull-aparts. And that's where we're going to press from. We don't want to bring our elbows way in, but we also don't want them to flare. So kind of right in the middle. But again, keeping those shoulder blades kind of locked back in. Elbows somewhat down to the sides, keeping them somewhat close. Keeping tension through your upper back. Okay, the only thing that should be touching is your chest. Now, if you need to scale, prop yourself up onto something like a bench or a coffee table or a work a workbench or a chair, whatever. But let's go full range of motion, chest to whatever you're propping yourself up on. You can do it on the bumper of your car or your tailgate or whatever. It doesn't matter. So that's how we are going to scale this workout. If you want to make it harder, let's work back the other way. And if you're tired of push-ups, throw in another movement, meaning you're going to go 800 through the 600s, through the 400s, then back through the 600s, and then back through the 800s. So if you want to throw in another movement, once you're done with those 20 push-ups, do 20 of something else, and then work in reverse, right? So you're doing your 40 double unders, 400 meter run. The 30 of whatever movement you're doing, 60 double unders, 600 meter run. But again, that's for those of you who want to just punish yourselves a little bit and uh, make it a little bit harder. So do what you want to do, but uh, good effort, solid effort the whole time through. You shouldn't slow. Keep your uh, foot on the gas pedal a bit, right? Um, and share with me what you got. All right, guys, good luck. Be creative. Keep moving. See you tomorrow. Awkward wait time while I close out the video and...